Good morning everybody, I hope you are doing well. Starting with rushing out the door, I'm actually off to a few events. I have a like to know event and then I am popping over to beauty pie event, potentially an oppo event which is an ice cream and then I'm off to a tada and toy event. So it's very hectic, um, but a really lovely day and I get to see loads of people that I haven't seen in such a long time. I am wearing this waistcoat from Zara, I bought it over the weekend, absolutely love it. And it's raining outside so I've just paired it with some trousers and some sandals and my vintage little Louis bag. And yeah, that is my outfit for today, hopefully I will be warm enough. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll be able to run back here if it is too cold for later on and grab a jacket. But I think it should be okay. Um, so yeah. <laughs> now i don't know if you can hear me but this is is it do you think it'll be open to the public yes uh, two months it's open okay so, so don't quote me on that yeah i'll <laughs> leave it down below <laughs> don't quote me <laughs> but um so basically it's a beauty pie pop-up i'll leave beauty pie down below but they are known for the most incredible skincare makeup and everything so very excited to come along and like just see all the products in real life and also just get kind of like a lowdown of what is amazing their best sellers like what they do and we've been kind of given a little list of um, what we want to pick out so I picked out a lot of like skincare candles and um, so I think we get them after this so I will show you in a bit but yeah I'm here with Tula it's been a very long time no long time no see but um yeah we've got this we've got another event after this yeah ice cream ice cream we're gonna get some food as well so we need some food get some love and shop but yeah very excited so Okay, so I am ready now. I've just put on this really pretty um, free people dress. I'm just about to put on a lipstick. I kindly received from Estee Lauder some gorgeous lip products and two of them I am completely obsessed with just like the colour swatches on the back and they are these new Estee Lauder pure colour whipped matte lip colours. So I've got air kiss and then i've got cocoa whip which i think might be a little bit more yeah so these are the two colors i think i'm gonna go for the darker one because i feel like that might be more me yeah that's beautiful that is literally like my spice lip liner oh that's beautiful and it feels like really creamy it's beautiful and then this one oh actually it's a lot darker than i thought it'd be i actually like them together i think that looks really nice so i'm putting on some perfume i'm going to be using the pen Halligan's the favorite such a lovely perfume apparently it's gonna be really hot today i've got a couple of events to go to which will be really lovely this morning i've got one with a company called afflatia it's a beautiful i think japanese um brand and it's designed around like the spa sensations and the aromas, which is really lovely. I've been to an event with them before and the team are so lovely. And then I'm off to a event with Bumble and Bumble, I think it's called, it's a hair brand. And that's why my hair is slicked back in the Shoe Amira oil and hairspray because there's just no point doing my hair because I'm going to get it done, which is so lovely. But I've just put on this dress and it is so pretty. It's not as tight as, um, I've ordered this one and a sleeper's dress, and I have tied it on really quickly because I wanted to see if I would want to wear it today. There's a dress that I've been like utterly obsessed with for such a long time. Um, but the body itself, like this, I've had to actually wear a bra, and this is the smallest size. I mean, like play the smallest violin for me, um, but I really like when the bodies are like super, cinched in like really tight um so i'm gonna see what the other i'm gonna try on the other one when i get home the sleeper one and show you because it is absolutely stunning and just try it on with the bra because it is a little bit see-through and you can see your boobs so um yeah i need to give it one more go now i'm like all zhuzhed up but yeah that's my end of rambling now i'm going to quickly chuck a bag together I mean, i'm going to take my vintage little lou my vintage louis vuitton um, because you literally can fit everything in there and i'm gonna need to bring quite a lot because i want enough room to fit in a water bottle and a charger because it's going to be very hot and then um, i'm gonna have some time to do some work so i've got my sunglasses i'm gonna take my 
Ganny Sunnies. Um, got all my literally all my lip products, wallet, hand sanitizer, lip liner. Um, and I need. What else do I need? I'm going to be doing links for my YouTube, which is going live tonight when like mid the mid break between the events. Um, but yeah, that is me. I'm also going to be wearing also going to be wearing my flattered sandals. So a really nice little hand outfit so i'm actually running late i'm never late but um yeah i'm gonna head out the door and i will take you hopefully to the events and show you what i get up to So I kind of left it on a bit of a quick rut yesterday as I came down with like a massive panic attack, like just overwhelming with anxiety. And it really hit me yesterday. I did have free coffees, which was not a good idea, especially as my headspace was just really not in a good mood. But I really, it, unfortunately, my bad trait is that I absolutely adore coffee. I love the kind of routine around getting one, the taste. I just love it all. So unfortunately, yes, yesterday was a really bad day for me. So I kind of ended it shortly. But I wanted to go through some of the products that I kindly received whilst I was at the event. So first event I went to was Afflatia. I may be butchering that a lot, but we were very kindly invited to go along to Afflatia uh, to a Afflatia event in Mortimer House, which is in Oxford Circus, which is a really beautiful restaurant. And we did a workshop with Kin Baru, and it is a Kintsugi. We did a Kintsugi workshop, which basically is a Japanese art of repairing broken ceramics and things like that, and then filling it in with gold. And I am completely and utterly obsessed. This is what I created, which actually goes, oh my God, I just realized it actually literally looks like the picture but how beautiful is that it was so mesmerizing but it was so beautiful the team was so lovely i'll leave them down below they're called kinburo and you can actually order the kits to do at home yourself and it's actually so easy so therapeutic it was so fun so kintsugi is the japanese art of repairing broken pottery with lacquer mixed lacquer mixed with powdered gold also a philosophy the breakage represents the most vulnerable points in our lives the repairs are highlighted rather than disguised signify strength and healing they are a metaphor for embracing struggle as a path towards character building this philosophy which comes from a buddhist background has helped many people feel fulfilled in life it honestly i was so over the moon with this i picked out this plate we were able to pick out um, a couple of different bowls and stuff and i picked this out because i just thought it was a really nice little trinket tray to have on display so over the moon with that and then i kindly got a bundle of products which are just incredible i'll show you the brand branding so then you might be able to pronounce it a little bit more better than me it's called afletia and it's a japanese brand so we first have here ooh, a cute little wooden hairbrush they've kind of given me along with also what i love is that the packaging is just so aesthetically pleasing please say that the mist is in here i don't think i actually have the the mist which is gutting because that is just incredible but the first one we've got is the afflatia switching aroma room mist in sacred tree and this is the new launch they've got a couple of new launching products so it looks like this and the essential oils is rosemary mandarin bergamot lime cedarwood sandalwood so a super like refreshing musky scent and i just love it so i think i'll just keep it in here it's just so nice to just like instead of clogging your room with kind of like fabric fresheners 
which don't really do much. It's so lovely to have a bit more of a um, natural ingredient fragrance to just mist around. It doesn't clog anything and it doesn't feel like powdery. It's just super fresh and lightweight, kind of just like a perfume. And then we have the Afflatia Skin Protection UV Cream. And it comes in a bottle like that, which is very handy. I didn't actually get to try this, but their products are so beautiful and just so uplifting. The smells are just so sensational. Oh, it's beautiful. Also quite mattifying as well. If you think you suffer with like SPF that SPF that are quite oily, then this would be really lovely. It's just super lightweight, mattifying, and sinks into your skin. Another one we have is the Afflatia Treatment Cleansing Oil. So I think this is a makeup remover. Yeah, so this is a makeup remover. And look, just look how beautiful that is. You would like keep that on your bathroom side. It's just, the packaging is so beautiful. So that's like a oil to, it's a cleansing oil, which I really prefer. I prefer the oil balms, oil products to remove makeup because I just really feel it just really gets in there and clogs onto the dirt and impurities. We also have the sleeping cream, which one of the PR ladies um, spoke to me about. And oh my goodness, it is incredible. She just said this is literally the only thing she puts on her face at night time. And it is just incredible. It's so, it's just such a magical, sensational smell. I literally keep saying sensational because it is so beautiful. And it has in here, Fleeta Phyto Sleeping Cream. Uh, use as your last step of your evening skincare routine. Take an appropriate amount of cream, a pearl size, and warm it into your hands. Gently press the entire face. That was also something that the ladies recommended. It says not rubbing your face, like, tap like pat it onto your face so you're um less likely to age apparently it's like a good anti-aging uh, precaution and then finally last but not least this is a bit of a sneak peek but i kindly got given the newest launch which i believe is launching in the beginning of august don't know if this vlog might be out by august or not but hopefully i'll be able to get give a go of these and then update you in another vlog so this is the athletia Reflatia Scalp Care Shampoo and the Scalp and Hair Treatment. Really beautiful packaging, love the green. Um, and yeah, I'll give you an update with what they're like and see how I get on with them. So then I went off to a Bumble and Bumble hair appointment and it was really lovely. This is when my anxiety kicked in. So I literally was in there for a hairstyle and then I literally ran out because I just felt so anxious and i just it was really hot in there we were kind of like in a basement so i felt really like claustrophobic and i just needed to leave but i was really kindly introduced to the pr people and and also as well introduced to the brand because i've never actually tried the products before but yet here i am wearing all the hair products they've given me because they are just they smell incredible and just feel so light and airy on my hair i'm gonna leave a like little hair reel that I did yesterday. Someone kindly filmed it for me. Basically, I went with my hair very oily, wash like swept back because it really needed washing and I saved it to be done when I got to Bumble and Bumble and then I found out it was a dry styling um, hair event because which makes sense because there was a lot of people there so they didn't have time to do that with everybody. But it gave me the chance to get my hair done, like done, up like tied up so I went for this like messy bun with a bit of my fringe out and it was stunning they gave me some of the clips so hopefully I can keep watching this tutorial back and um, give it a go but they kind of say gave me some products to try this is the bumble and bumble heat shield this is the thermal protection mist so you apply this um spray protector mist uh, repairs damage and protects against heat with honey protective complex so i applied this on my hair when my hair was wet you also have the bond building repair styling cream builds new bonds to strengthen hair and helps repair damage with honey bonding building complex and you can use it on air dry and blow dry hair this multitasking super styler build, builds bonds to strengthen and hair protects against heat tools up to 450 degrees and fortifies to help prevent breaking and split ends plus it provides light hold and reduces frizz and flyaways apply to damp hair before blow drying and air drying okay so you can't so this is for wet hair only so what i would do is i put a little bit of a, a penny size in my hand start at the bottom and then kind of do the leftover like the residue on my hands at the top because you don't want if you've got hair like me i can't put too much on top of my head 
And then the ones I've been using, the first one which I was very intrigued with is the uh, Hairdressers Invisible Oil UV Protective Dry Oil Finishing Spray. Lightweight mist for subtle shine and softness for dry hair. So these are really good styling ones. And then I also got the Hairdressers Invisible Oil Soft Texture Finishing Spray. Gives style hair a tousled texture with a further soft feel. So that's for like more holding your hair. And she used these this one on my hair for like styling and making that kind of messy textured bun which was just incredible and then I put this on my hair this morning this is the BB prep primer a lightweight pre-style for fine hair this mist helps smooth away tangles and preps hair for styling products spray onto damp and dry hair comb through and style and yeah really enjoyed those my hair feels very fresh this morning after I've been to a rebel class a rebel class just sorts me out for the day it just does me wonders and then i have some pieces that i wanted to try on with you i think i tried the free people dress on but i didn't show you in person uh, in like a proper setting so i'm going to try that on with you quickly as i have i want to do a reel for that like a little get ready with me reel but first off my sleeper order arrived it is so beautiful so i cannot wait to try this on so i got the white kind of like off the shoulder what's it called kind of like what's this called like a cinched in bodice and it comes with how cute is that it comes with a little bow as well that you can put in your hair and it's a maxi dress and it has these beautiful flowers on it and i just thought it was so sweet and classic i got it on coggles and i did have a discount code well i found a girl's discount code so if i can find someone else's i will leave it down below but if you do your first order on coggles i believe you get 15 percent off anyway um or 10 percent so yeah so i've been dying to get a to get a sleeper dress and it is so beautiful i've just seen a mark on here and i'm really hoping it's not a mark it's just um part of the print we shall see but yeah very happy with it so i'm gonna give this a go before yeah it is it's just a part of the print so i'm gonna try this on now with you quickly and see what we think how beautiful is this dress i'm really indecisive of the top because i've actually had to put a little bit of a like a bandu bra on because it is a little bit see-through and it isn't actually that tight unfortunately i got the smallest size and i mean i know i'm small but i just feels really big i've got big boobs so i thought it would be like cinched enough to like really hold it in place but it's quite a loose um cinch in feeling which i'm really just like indecisive of because it's one of those dresses i just wanted to bring which you didn't have to really put a bra on you can just literally chuck it on and it's super comfortable i'll give it a go without a bra in a minute but just wanted to show you the dress itself because it is so beautiful i'm just going to put you down on a smaller candle but yeah no it's so stunning really comfortable as well just the boob bit which i'm just a bit indecisive of but i absolutely love it i think it's such a sweet top a dress and you can also wear it with the sleeves down like so but i think i prefer it with the shoulders up i just love this style of a dress i think it's so flattering with the square neckline but um yeah let me know what you guys think i got it in an extra small but it just feels like it needs to be a little bit more cinched in i'm not 100 percent sure on it unfortunately um because i've been desperate for this dress because it is just so cute but yeah i'm gonna try it on without the bra and see what i think because ideally i would like to wear it without the bra but i'm not too sure i don't know if maybe i'm wearing the wrong bra but i just want something like a bandeau to kind of go with the shape so it's not obvious i'm wearing a bra if that makes sense um but yeah it is very cute i do love it um just kind of indecisive of the top i feel like when you're not 100 percent straight away about an outfit I feel like that's a sign not to keep it but i've been wanting this dress for such a long time so yeah a bit gutted not gonna lie but yeah i'll see what I'll, let me know what you guys think and i'm gonna see what my mom thinks and laurie thinks and go from there but i just oh, the sleeves also this brand is also a ukrainian brand so if you do want to go and do a little good to the world then go and support them because their pajamas my black pajamas with the feather details are from them as well and i've also got like a daisy print short set which i just absolutely love and that's also from sleeper as well and it's just so cute so yeah let me know what you guys think and go check them out if my boobs are visible 
then I am going to cut this piece out. But <laughs> this is without the bra and it feels more comfortable. It just is a little bit soft on the boobs. Um, so I feel like, I don't know if you can do anything about that um, or if that's just the, the case of it or maybe I can get it done tucked in a little bit just so it really holds its shape. But um, yeah, that's without the bra. So a lot more comfortable. Um, but yeah, I might have a chance of being a little bit see-through. We shall see. Okay, so I've just done my little get ready with me because I had to give a shout out to this dress because it is so beautiful. I am definitely taking this with me down to the West Witterings because it is just such a gorgeous dress. I actually might shoot it today. I have, unfortunately, I don't know how I did it. I was even wearing an apron and I've um, got some strawberry sauce down me. So I'll give it a quick wash later on. But it's a beautiful dress from Free People. It's absolutely stunning, really gorgeous. I got the smallest size, but again, still the similar situation where it's not a little, it's not, um, tight enough for my liking so I do have to wear like a little bandu bra I'm wearing like a fabric bandu bra I can't remember where I got it if I can find one similar I'll leave it down below but basically it just really holds you in like a bandu bra but it's no pad no wire just my perfection and um, yeah this is so stunning and I think it comes in different colours it's got gorgeous little pockets as well and the details are just so stunning especially for this heat wave it is perfection, so over the moon of it. So I will leave this also down below as well. Another thing I wanted to actually talk to you guys about is I did a Zara home order and ordered some bits online, really minimal bits. Um, first off, I got a dressing gown in this like towel material and it's so cute and it's got a little hood which is very sweet i got it in a small and it was i think it was like 40 pounds and it's got a little hood i just really liked it especially i'm not at the moment because it is very hot at the moment but i just thought in the future to wear a little dressing gown when i've like come out of the shower i'm getting ready for like ready for the day and like filming it's a really lovely piece just to have and it just went into the sale so i thought it was perfect to grab two more things i got is towels hand towels i feel like it's a really nice way to uh, dress up your like spaces for a little bit more of a affordable yet effective price because these will be used quite a lot um but they make such a difference we have some like quite plain towels in our bathroom at the moment and i just thought a way to decorate it and spice it up a little bit was to get some really nice hand towels which are also affordable as well i believe these were like i believe these were like seven to eight pounds so the first one i got is a white one as you can see it's so beautiful so i've got a tag so it's that size so really good size and then at the bottom here is these really pretty tassels in different colors and our bathroom is blue so i thought it would actually be really nice because it's got the touch of blue in there and um, so just like a little bit of a nod but still brings up a little bit of warmth with the other colors the next one i got was a bit more of a nod to the blue styling i thought this was just so beautiful and i just love the print on it and it has those kind of rustic tassels as well so if you can hear the building um, and you've got the tassels on both sides also as well this could be a nice hand towel in the kitchen I just thought this was such a beautiful print how stunning is that and again I believe it was only like £10 so I just thought it was like a really nice way to kind of address up the area I will show you um, when I dress it up in a bit I also I'll show you actually I did all this building where it's going on so these are the hooks by the sink so we have got quite a plain towel which obviously still looks nice but when we put the new towels in i feel that look really cute but i was a bit too excited and got these out straight away i ordered these um doorknobs unfortunately they ran out of stock online because i want i needed to get another one for this set um so i'm gonna have to go back and either return them or first things first i'm gonna go and check if they are still available in store but i just thought that was like a really nice touch like if you're in a rental um to zhuzh up your space but not having to do too much it's affordable 
you can take these with you um, and then just like put these in storage and then when you move out you can put them back but I just thought that was like a really easy idea to kind of just like make it a little bit more of your own. So I've just hung both the towels up just to quickly show you what they both look like against the blue. Um, they are both really lovely, both playful as well. I really like how this one is really simple yet like lovely with the little touch of colours and then you have got the blue on blue so yeah, nice to have a little bit of both. I've still got some more decorating I want to do in here. Looking super plain. So what I do want to get is like some faux hydrangeas. I feel like that would look really cute. Maybe a little candle or a little picture frame behind it. I thought that would look really sweet as well. Just something a little bit more, a little bit more prettier because it does look lovely, of course, but just looks quite plain at the moment. Could be quite cute here is to really utilize these hooks and hang some lavender. I feel like if I put maybe a towel up like that and then had some lavender hanging I feel like that would look really pretty um but yeah let me know what you guys think really love the textures of them really affordable as well um so yeah I will leave them both down below and um yeah those were my little quick Zara home orders okay so I'm now going to quickly get ready as I'm going to meet my lovely friend Sophie I haven't seen her in such a long time she's currently doing a H&M um, studio appointment so I need to change tidy up and then we're gonna go and do a little bit of shooting and also as well we are going to go to a Joe Loves event which I'll take you along with us <music> thing we have is the mango cooler. Ooh. Let's grab one of these. So you can take one of the little towels. Um, you get first, darling. Used with mango tie lime. Oh my god, yeah. that's amazing. Oh my god. So good. Isn't that yeah. so fresh? I know. Like, can like they do summer. this like, you know, at One Rebel, they, like, they have the towels and snap them. I'd rather do they? Oh my yeah. god. Good idea. Yeah. Maybe, we, maybe we should do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can talk to them. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm um, getting commissioned. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is so nice. That's incredible. It's just the best one. It is my favorite. So nice. Is this your third one now? Second. Oh. <laughs> Here. Oh, I love this. Ta -da. Oh my god, stop. Yeah. But I want to eat it. I know. Don't eat it. Oh my god. And then we paint it. So basically, Joe's father is an artist. Yeah, it was an artist. Yeah. Um, and so she started using some brushes and a lot of fragrance making. And then you can rub it in. Super hydrating. I always use it when I go on holiday. Oh, so good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's frothy. Yeah, but it's not frothy. No, no. So when you. And then we have the fragrance paintbrush, which is also new. Um, so this, I don't know if you've seen it before, but it's like a gel formula. No, yeah, so you I'm pump it out and you can paint it on your skin. Oh, that's it. How long have you had that? Since oh, I went to their house event like last year. Somewhere. Oh, I didn't know. And they did little tattoos. Oh. <laughs> I know. Everyone's like, have you got a tattoo? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Is like, that the one you have? I have a little wave on my foot, but I want to get it redone because it's like oh, it looks kind of good. like thick. Oh, so, nice. so I need to get it redone. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want but, it thinner? Yeah, like because you've got all like little ones. How are they gonna make it thinner? I don't, just, yeah, just to get it removed. <laughs> oh, okay. So oh, you're removing, removing it. Yeah. Okay, okay. That way you mean more. I was like, <laughs> like, uh, oh, I'm gonna like, erase it. <laughs> yeah, this is just like because if so, I want them to do that to this one. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Honestly, this smells. I know it's right. my favorite. Yeah, it's my oh, amazing. Love it. Love. So 
this is the tapas experience that you can do in the store. That was perfect with the music. Um, so you can come in and it's a free, it's a free try, like consultation, isn't it? And you get to try out all the fragrances and also as well the new addition, which is the mango thyme lime. So you can do like a little whip experience, which I showed you earlier. And then these towels, which is really sweet. So yeah, so definitely come and check it out. And then you can go and taste, try out all the other fragrances as well. But I'll talk about that later. Oh my god. Yum. It's back the memories. Hello guys. So I'm actually now at the O2 with Lorenzo. I've just been to an event with Sophie at Jola nice and then we went to Wagamama's as you saw. We were actually very kindly invited by my management to go and see Cirque du Soleil at the O2 which is really exciting. So that's what we're doing but we're having a quick drink in the sun. Delightful. What a fabulous Wednesday so we're gonna have a little G&T and then tomorrow we're off to the West Witterings so that'll be very exciting so I need to pack for that but um Day. The sun is shining. Very hectic. A lovely day.